Jesus Christ in St. John on the East Coast. And here is a board showing the history of Hakatan's Cliff and those who who um, died or who were buried on the vault underneath. The sign says beneath your feet are three burial vaults containing the remains of the Hakatan, Forrester, Cox and Culpepper families dating from circa 1685. Please spare them a thought as you gaze at, this, at the spectacular view of our East Coast and treat this area with respect. From church burial registers and various publications, it is believed that the following persons are interred in these vaults. Mistress Thomas Forster before, 18, before 1685, Mr. Thomas Forster in 1685, Thomas Hackerton circa 1690, Isaac Thorpe Forster 1775, Margaret Cott 1793, Alexander, Ma Alexander McLean in 1793, Elizabeth Harbin Harper 1795, James William Cox 1795, Mary Weathers in 1826. This sign says Hackerton's Cliff. Community Park where beauty meets seren serenity, donated by the Barbados Foundation. This is a contribution box. To the sign says, please make a contribution to the upkeep of this because they don't have enough funds to help with the upkeep so that is why they are asking for a contribution because it, the, the, because the government is not really helping them to, to upkeep the area so they are asking the public to help us assist with the upkeep I will now take you back to the East Coast the parish of St. Joseph and St. All across the Cambridge and seniors, you can see all, the can see all across the Mount Hillaby as well. Mount Hillaby, St. Thomas, that is also the highest point in Barbados. This is the third highest point, Hackathon Street. Above sea level, and Mount Hillaby is one of We can see the Hockey Mount. Chalky Mount. The pottery there in Chalky Mount, named up, which is run by a guy named Mr. John Springer. Giant because of its shit. Just outside of the opposite side of Barclays Park, famous East Coast Beach. You can see Bashiba as well, also on the East Coast of Barbados in the parish of Bashiba is another popular service. You can see Tent Bay from there, another fishing village, right beside Bashiba. Um, beside Bashiba on the northern side of the beach, heading towards the East Coast, the famous East Coast Road in St. Andrew, Catawash, and the trees there are right the East Coast. Personally, I recommend that there is no bathing there because of its high tides, but people still do bathing sometimes and surfing there. You're overlooking Martin's Power Shop St. John, St. Margaret's Primary School and Church from here as well. The trees are blocking it. You can see all the all St. John. You can see all Martins Bay and we can see all Bath Beach. Let's go overlooking Bathsheba. This is all Bathsheba Beach here in St. Joseph. Bashiba that I was looking at would be Cattle Wash. Cattle Wash is also a part of Bashiba area as well, but this is Bashiba mostly. 
you can see the Bashiba Community Center, you can see Beach Mount Hill. So Bashiba is in the center of the screen now, we are in the Sudan. So we are overlooking Bashiba and to the south of the south of Bashiba over there. The Marta is there. The Bashiba is in the parish of St. Joseph on the east coast of the island. And then the famous East Coast Beach. And all across the across the Long Pond Beach in St. Andrew as well, all across the lake. And you can see further north to the Coast and the Reef. You can see all the hills and the way of the parish of St. Andrew from here. Yes, because when one thinks of St. Andrew, they think of clay and soil. Across the Bath Beach in St. John. Bath Beach is referred to. Bath Beach is the parish of St. John and then Set Bay, which is a fishing village, on Set Beach, Savannah, St. John. That part of St. John is on the border with the parish of St. Philip. That's guys, Hackerton's Cliff, once again, in the parish of St. John, between the parishes of St. John and St. Joseph. And we're overlooking the Scotland district. It is referred to as the Scotland district because the Community Park is maintained by a guy named Roger Moore. He has the same last name. He some of the residents in the communities are helping to clear, uh, helping to um, beautify the area so that tourists can come and enjoy the scenery and the beauty of the This is equivalent to Mount Hillaby, which is the highest point in the area. Also, see a possible from here as well, which is on the border with the parish of St. Andrew and St. Thomas, and, the, and that is the highest point in Barbados. So, one of the St. John's Parish Church also gives awesome views of the East Coast as well. This is the whole entire East Coast, starting from St. John. St. Joseph into St. Andrew. So I will let you guys take in the sights and sounds now. So thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.